What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, we're going to conclude my three weeks of Christmas festive recipes with a classic, baby, an old classic recipe, the Crock-Pot Christmas Candy. So, let's uh, get to it, my little elves, because Santa Claus is coming to town tonight. That's right, baby. Crock-Pot Christmas candy, the triple C. And you know, I've learned this recipe from my dear old dad because back around Christmas time when I was a little boy, my dad would make candy, boy. He would have candy on the counter, candy on the stove, candy in the fridge. That boy put Willy Wonka to shame, man. But you know me, I ain't got time for that shit. So I learned a quick and easy way to make uh, something that he used to, you know, the nut cluster. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with some uh, peanuts over here. And now, you want to get one jar of the salted and one jar of the unsalted. That way you get that good balance in here. So, we're going to take our peanuts, and I'm talking about Snoopy and Charlie Brown, and we're going to dump them right in the bottom of this crackpot right here. Just like that, sir. Dump them both in there. Make it good. And next, let's go ahead and take our chocolate chips. Now, these are just milk chocolate chips. You can sit, you, 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 can, you, can, sit, you can get the semi-sweet or you can get the, uh, you know, they have peanut butter and things. You can try it out. Butterscotch. Do your thing, baby. Make it a Christmas miracle. So, let's go ahead and dump these uh, milk chocolate chocolate chips right in there, too. Now, next thing that we're going to do, next thing that we're going to do, we're going to put in this uh, almond bark. And this is chocolate almond bark. Now, you can use, like, the German baking chocolate or whatever that you need to do. Me, I found this almond bark next to the other almond bark, so we're going to uh, bark along and put that in there. Right on the top of everything. Now, last but not least, the original almond bark, which is crazy because you know it's not almond and it's not bark, so I don't know, but it kind of sounds like uh, almond bark. Kind of sounds like something Schwarzenegger would say, get the almond bark, put it in the crock pot, you have to get it out and put it on the... So, we put those in there. And then, once all that is done, we are going to go ahead and take our lid, place it on top, and you can do this low and slow for, you know, maybe two hours. I'm going to put it on high and do it fast in one because I get that that shit's up. We'll let this sit for an hour, we will come back, we will stir, and we will start uh, placing it out and getting ready to have us some dandy candy, baby. Yes. All right, Mrs. Claus. The chocolate and peanut mixture is all melted and good. And oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like when I was a child and you go into the mall, Christmas shopping. You kids may not know what the mall is, but these days this thing called the mall. And you go in there Christmas shopping, they have Bed Bath and Body Works over there, and you smell all the candles and the beautiful stuff. And the other side, they had the cookie and the hot chocolate little cart that they had. So, ooh, 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 that smells bringing me back. But we better hurry up and start scooping these out while it's hot because you want to work with this stuff before it uh, cools down. Now today I've got an old cookie sheet here with some parchment paper on it and I'm using an ice cream scoop to scoop out my candy. That's going to make sure that it's all even steven so everybody can share and share alike on that candy. So the ice cream scoop like Ben and Jerry's. Then we will just keep scooping these and you go right on down the line until you run out of candy and that's the great thing about it Clark Griswold. You're going to have plenty of candy for everybody that's coming over even Cousin Eddie's crazy ass. So. Just keep scooping, and once you get this full and get all your candy spread out on here, go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator and let it cool down and sit up for, you know, maybe an hour or so. And once that's done, boy, we can come back and have us a sweet treat and a delightful bite of these beautiful crock pot Christmas candies tonight. I'm tempted to take a bite right now, but I've got to wait. I'm going to be a good little boy. I want a present for me. Baby, the time has come. The crack pot Christmas candy is done, and I'm having the first bite for me. So, damn, 
That's good, 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 good. Makes you want to sing. Put you right in the Christmas spirit. It makes you want to go, Merry Christmas, baby. I hope that candy treats you good. Ew! Tastes like home, man. And so easy to make. But, like I said, just a classic. My dad used to make these all the time, so. Why do you want of these, boys? Just now I know it's Christmas, so. I want to wish all of you out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I want to thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You know I love you, baby. And I'll see you next time.